you'll need to gather the following items for this activity. An A4 sheet of black cardboard and some blue tack. 7 15 by 15 cm squares of tinfoil. 7 30 cm lengths of black wool. A ruler, sellotape and a pencil to poke holes in the cardboard. You'll also need to print out the star map from the activity sheet. To start, stick the star map to the black cardboard using the sellotape. Poke a hole through each of the stars in the map so that there's a hole in the black cardboard. Now make the stars. To do this, use sellotape to stick the end of a piece of wool to the centre of a piece of tinfoil. When this is done, crumple the foil up into a ball. Do this until you have made seven stars. Now starting from the black side of the model, poke the free end of each piece of wool through the cardboard and the star map. Don't pull the wool all the way through, as we'll use maths to calculate how long each piece should be. Each of the seven stars in the plough is actually a different distance from the Earth. The distance chart in the activity sheet lists how far each star is from our planet and gives a length for each piece of wool we'll be using to hold our stars. As all of our pieces of wool are 30 centimetres long, do you think we can use the chart to calculate how much wool should be pulled through to the back side of the paper? Make your calculations and pull each piece of wool through to the correct length. When all the stars are set, they can be sellotaped in place at the back of the paper. Now you have built your 3D model of the plough. Use the blue tack to stick your model to the ceiling or the underside of your table. When you look up at it, you will see that your stars look just like the plough. But when you look at it from a different angle, you'll see what the stars in the plough would look like from space. Instead of using wool, younger children can cut straws to the correct length and make their plough by sticking them to the chart using blue tack. Look at the activity sheet for instructions on how to do this.